Hi, this is Spice. What you're looking at is a pathway that the children and I decided to make. Whew, this is actually the first level of our um, backyard. I mean, we, um, once you come down the steps, and this is the like an area, landing area. And um, we made a little walkway. We walk this way all the time. And we decided to utilize what we have. The bricks is what we have. So we use the bricks. Now that little piece of wall that you see coming up. I didn't make that of course. This house was built in 1921. And so, um, you know, there are things that were already here, like this stairway here, these little steps here. This is already here. I just had to clear it out and try to make a, come, well, just clean it off. Now, we put more bricks this way to our garden. You should come down the steps. Now, that bamboo that I was telling you all in a previous video, see? Ooh, I used to hate this bamboo. I hate, I would hate it, I mean, with a passion. I mean, when I would see the little, it start to, you know, the, the small streaks coming up, oh man, that would just really just get under my skin. Ugh. It's like you back again, really, seriously, just cut you down, sprayed you with pesticide. This is when I was using pesticide, I don't do that anymore. And you grow back and I you use stuff that would kill kutsu. And you know, but like I said before in another video, when I started using vinegar, you know, it, it really, in getting down to the root of it, it really stopped. A lot of that. Here's another one trying to grow. I mean, it's this stuff, you know, whew, it's relentless. It just, but um, right now I'm actually, um, I, we had been cutting it down, putting it to the street and allowing the trash, you know, the yard waste people to pick it up. Um, and we cut it down to size according to the city and uh, they would pick it up. But I decided to start, you know, letting some of it grow back. I'm, you know, I'm, when it, I'm trying to control it, you know, it's growing back on its own. When we see one that's growing where we don't want it, we just, you know, we did cut it down, kick it down. And so, you know, when they're small, like this, you know, it's, it's very easy. You know, and then you put vinegar on it to try to prevent it from growing back. And vinegar kill fungus, pretty much. And so it's great, it, it does help a lot. Um, I, I wouldn't advise you to put it in a sprayer, I'm telling you, when it spray back on you, oof. So, um, but, um, you know, you can, you know, do it however you like. Um, but that's the bamboo that I have. And I'm using it to stake my tomatoes. It's come, it really came in handy. It's one thing that I was hating, I end up using it. Trying to utilize what I have. I use it for steaks. I have it for my um, beans. That's the, that pole there, bamboo. I'm just using what I have. Instead of going out and buying a bunch of things, just trying to use, you look around and say, okay, what do I have? Now, do I buy things? Yes, I do. But if you can, you know, save yourself, you know, $50 here, $40 there, you know, at the end of the month, I'm sure, it, you know, it makes a little difference. You know, 
And if you see that um, tennis ball on there, well, you, you all know that I'm a newbie to gardening. This is my very first year gardening. And um, so I, I would tie the bamboo up and then um, it would start to lean. And so, um, of course, I got something that I had a, um, one of those little cheap tents, $15 tents, the gazebo tents, um, and it broke because the wind blew and it twisted the poles. Well, I had some poles left. And so I brought one of the poles to try to stake, hold, brace my bamboo up using gardening string. And then I had that pole sticking out of the ground. And of course, you know, I have ch uh, my youngest son is 11. I have adult children. And then I have my grandchildren. And so um, they're in this garden all the time. My granddaughter, my two granddaughters, they're 13 and um, in a tent so and when I would see that them near this I'm like man you know I don't want them to slip and fall because you know there's grass on the outside of the garden and and, and yeah there's maybe a few gra little grass inside of the garden too but um, I didn't I just use it so they wouldn't fall on it that's all you know I didn't want them to get hurt so I know it looks kind of weird but it does stand out. Ah, it's original. So, um, I'll let you show you my green beans here. No green beans yet. But there's, a, there's flowering. There are blooms. So, they will come. You plant it, it will come, it will grow. <laughs> and if you see bamboo, steak, there's my bamboo. And I just put some string. But one thing I, I know now, I will put the bamboo a little closer together. I didn't know. You know, people forgive me. You know, I make a little mistakes here and there. But you learn from your mistakes. At least we're supposed to learn from our mistakes, you know. Um, when you do something over and over again and you keep getting the same negative results and you can do, continue to do it, it's called insanity. So um, I'll know next time to um, put the, the uh, bamboo a little closer and the string will be a little tighter. And I'll learn from that. So, um, bamboo makes a great trellis. It, you know, you may not like it, um, but uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a neighbor's yard. And they, they're, they're renters, so they just moved in there. I don't think they've been here a month yet, but, um, this is how this bamboo, it, it will get out of control. It will be, it will, it can be really awful um, if you don't stay on it. And of course, you know, landlord, you know, I don't care. Well, some do. So, I'm going to show you. Because the, these people moved in with their bamboo like this. They didn't let it, they didn't do this. But, um, you know, the, the landlord doesn't. And look at that jungle. Isn't that awful? I mean, it's beautiful for, you know, and awful too. I mean, they didn't do it. I mean, the bamboo was already here. And the person that owned the house won't, you know, only a clear off around the house. And these people literally, um, renting this house and like I said they haven't been here a month and you, you know that's their backyard 
of course now um the reason why i have mine on on the fence i let mine grow up this way because the uh before these people moved in i would have problem with people coming into my yard and so i would you know, jump in the fence and doing things that were just you know wrong because hey it, I, I live in the city and you can live in the suburbs and still have issues and problems but you know i live in the city and so uh you know i would have um people you know breaking in my house when i would be at work so um they and i saw they were coming over the fence so i, I didn't want to make it easy for them so okay uh you won't be it won't be so easy to take my TV over the fence next time. So I let it grow up. So now I've got these new neighbors, and they seem to be pretty cool. They, like I said, I hadn't been there a month yet. But I started to cut some back some. But, you know, I, it, gave, it gives a great privacy um, covering. I would love to have a privacy fence, but no fence in the budget right now. So I just let the, um, between me and them grow up, let it grow. Now you see, I'm gonna show you where bamboo used to be. See? That's where we cut down the bamboo cut down the bamboo and we cut down some this morning for that TP trellis There's my trellis way over there. There's my new area of the garden. My new area that I just cultivated. And, um, and this is what I did buy. And I'm gonna put lettuce in there. And I'll talk about that in my next video. That'll be in the next project. Children out for the summer, so um, they want to go to camp. So before camp start, <laughs> I give them something to do. And they eat it too, so. All right. Just showing you around my garden. I'm so proud. My granddaughter says, I just feel like a proud mama. Mm -hmm. Seeing the new things come in. And I have uh, a few watermelon plants. my watermelon plant. I don't know what that noise is in the background. I think they're pouring concrete. But, like I said, this is the city. This is not the country. Not the suburb. Literally. In CTL. and just utilizing my backyard.
I like vegetables and I love fresh vegetables so that's sweet potatoes now when I get ready to um, dig those up I'll do a video because I'm excited I'm gonna do a video about my corn when I finally um, start to um, pull my corn off harvest my corn sorry 